Raz never knew what it was to be born. To him, every moment was meaningless without the slight possibility of him ever knowing the existing medium also known as time. He didn't cry when he was born. His whole life had been framed out. But even in that doggy dog life of his, he had many questions. Faraz was different. He knew what it meant to have a weird perspective. People found it strange. But to him it made more sense than a plus b whole squared equals to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. College was a jigsaw puzzle to him. Every now and then, fleeting thoughts. Every second was like a lost piece. He wanted to research on mermaids, UFOs and cryptic codes and whatnot. But the vernal calipers and the scales could never measure his thoughts. Of the entire four years in college, he would piece these together and find out what it actually meant, what it actually stood for. And so he waited for that day. By some mere coincidence, that day happened to be the last day of his college. To get to that place, he would travel by foot, by land, for the sun would turn everything into gold as it seeped into the earth. On the fifth day of his revelation, he found a so-called map. The map, Byzantine it was, pointed to a location which is beyond his foot could travel. But Faraz wouldn't just give up like that. Day and night, breath by breath, step by step, he would carry on. He meticulously followed the directions till he reached where the points of the map met. What his mind had conjured, the reality hadn't conformed to it. And that was precisely what he saw. Hey, are you lost? Who isn't? But some people will beg to differ. Well, ignorance is a bliss. It seems like you are trying to find something. Yeah, I'm trying to find a meaning for all of this. I'm looking for answers. And so, like every other story, this too has an end. The quest to find answers would then be shared by a mortal poet.